Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Chris Mitchell. I'm a managed service consultant here at ProValTech. Uh, today, I just wanted to take a quick minute and do a quick video on how to integrate your Veeam service provider console, uh, new version 7, uh, with your ConnectWise Manage. Um, some key benefits here are getting current and active alarms uh, from VSPC over to uh, your ConnectWise Manage. You can tailor what board they go to, um, and you can have some other automations built around that to make sure you're responding to critical backup issues. So let's get into it. So here, we're going to get into our Veeam Service Provider Console, and then you're going to click on Configuration, Plugin Library, and you're going to go to the ConnectWise Manage area. In here, uh, if you haven't set it up, you're going to get a, a window. Um, you can hit Change, and you can put in your ConnectWise uh, Manage information. So this would be your URL, your ConnectWise company name, and then you need to create a API member uh, key and private key. Uh, to do that, if you switch over to ConnectWise Manage, you would go to Setup or System, Members, click on your API members, and you're going to first start with creating an API username. So in here, we're going to create that API member. In this case, we're going to call it uh, EMVSPC, and we can do the same thing. Uh, you can limit the access to, you know, where you, what role, security role. Uh, Veeam does have some documentation on, on these permissions. Um, and then hit save. And then you're going to click on API keys. And you're going to create a set of API keys for this. Hit save. And it's going to give you a pop-up window with a private key and public key. So you can copy these. And when you hit save and close, it's going to give you the pop-up window. You can save this information. Hit OK. And if you go back over to your ConnectWise Manage integration, this is where you're going to put those keys into. So you put those keys into your public key, your private key, and hit Connect. Once that loads up here, now you can enable integration features. So you're going to need to sync your companies your configurations, you can do ticketing. And if you want to update your usage to your agreements, you can also turn on billing. Um, under your companies, uh, when you enable that in here, you can search for a company uh, like that. These are test companies in our test instance here. You would select the company and you would say create company. That company will then uh, be brought over and will be set up in your VSPC console as a company that you can then integrate into uh, with the rest of your systems. Uh, under ticketing, um, in here, you can enable uh, where you're mapping alarms to. So you can create your alarms. You can send them over to certain service boards from ConnectWise Manage. You can tell it how quickly to create the ticket. Um, you have lots of different options in there. Um, and under billing, uh, this is a little difficult to show just because we don't have agreements in our in our test environment. Uh, but in here, you could create an agreement mapped to a certain company, and you can introduce product mapping. Um, so this is where you can, uh, if enabled, you can map over um, your license usage and also your, uh, how, if you're, backing up to your own cloud, how much usage you're using when you back up to the cloud. Um, that can give you accurate information on your agreements. And even if you don't use it to build the agreement, it's a great idea to have from a costing side of your agreement. So you can track your margin and your profitability per agreement per client, rather than just looking at whole numbers when you're looking at how much uh, you know, your cloud storage at Wasabi or another vendor is costing you and how much you're making, you're billing your clients for backup. You know, this will give you that information at a per client level, uh, which can be very helpful to find clients where you're making money and finding clients where maybe you are not as profitable as you want to be. 
Um, the Lots of other little options in here with your alarms and ticket handling. Uh, once those tickets are in ConnectWise Manage, then you can use your types, subtypes, and items to uh, change workflows, uh, bring critical things to, to your team's attention, um, and address those issues. Uh, again, if you have any questions on anything you've seen here, uh, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you, and have a great day.